limit x tending to z tending to 1 z to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 divided by z to the power of 1 by 6 minus 1 <coughs> the problem is limit z tending to 1 z to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 divided by z to the power of 1 by 6 minus 2. The first step is to apply the limit directly and check what happens. If you put z as 1, 1 to the power of 1 by 3, that is 1 only, 1 minus 1, say no. The denominator is also zero. So right now, the given problem is in indeterminate form. Now you need to remove the indeterminate form. There is no factorization available here. But still you can think of factorization in this problem. That is why this is a special case. Or otherwise normally it is to match with the form limit x tending to a. x to the power of n minus a to the power of n divided by x minus a. This is equal to n a to the power of n minus 1. Okay, now look at this and learn how to do this problem. This can be written as limit z tending to 1. This is an important problem for the exam. Two marks. Limit z tending to 1. I can write z to the power of 1 by 3 as z to the power of 1 by 6 whole square minus 1 divided by z to the power of 1 by 6 minus 1. Is there anything wrong in writing like this? Because z to the power of 1 by 6 whole to the power of 2 is 2 by 6. 2 by 6 is nothing but 1 by 3. You know that if you have an index like a to the power of m, now raise it to the power of n. How do you write it as a to the power of m and m and n? So it is z to the power of 1 by 6, you have raised it to the index 2. So this is z to the power of 1 by 6 into 2. That is equal to z to the power of 1 by 3 only. So z to the power of 1 by 3 can be written as z to the power of 1 by 6 whole square. Okay. This is the only step, the secret step of this problem. Now, you can think of factorization now. Don't try to think of matching with that formula. That is also one of the methods of doing. But in this problem, there is a scope for factorization. This is limit z tending to 1. This is of the form x square minus 1. If you regard z to the power of 1 by 6 as x, then it becomes x square minus 1. What is the factor of x square minus 1? x plus 1 into x plus minus 1. So z to the power of 1 by 6 square minus 1 can be written as z to the power of 1 by 6 plus 1 into z to the power of 1 by 6 minus 1 divided by z to the power of 1 by 6 minus 1 so that you cancel these two factors of denominator and numerator by which the indeterminate form will Go. Now, applying the limit, applying the limit as z tends to 1. So this is 1 to the power of 1 by 6 plus 1. That is nothing but. So the limit is. Okay. Next problem. is limit x tending to minus 2 1 by x plus 1 by 2 divided by x plus 2 
limit x tending to minus 2 1 by x plus 1 by 2 divided by x plus 2 direct application of the limit gives how much 1 by minus 2 that is minus half plus half is 0 minus 2 plus 2 so right now it is 0 by 0 now you have to think of some method to evaluate 0 by 0 to remove 0 by 0 form as the problem itself suggests that it is better to simplify the numerator you can add that fraction 1 by x plus 1 by 2 so this is limit x tending to minus 2 2x is the LCM in the numerator the LCM between x and 2 is 2x now x and x cancel you get 2 there plus 2 and 2 cancels x divided by x plus 2 now this x plus 2 and 2 plus x or x plus 2 cancel out giving out what? 1 by 2x this is limit extending to minus 2 1 by 2x now apply the limit applying the limit as x tends to minus 2 that is 1 by 2 into minus 2 it is minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 